Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how to replace fuse in this Toyota Avensis car. And now we are in this engine area, and then when we look in that area, what is in there is this headlight in here and in car battery, and here we have black box where is text relay and fuse. And that box we need to open, and opening happens so that in that area we press in that direction and then pull up in that way. And then this part opens, and then when we are now like planning to replace this horn fuse, we need to first investigate that what is this right right fuse because there is so many fuse and relays and there is relay and fuse and in Toyota Toyota they have been so wise that they have they have made in here map there is map what fits just in here we need to only rotate that and then we can see in there those small text and let's go to look those next closer Okay, and here is this closer view, and when I am planning to replace horn fuse, I need to look these comments. And this bigger, these uh, boxes, they are like relays, and these smaller lines are like fuses. And there I can see that in one place in here, there is text horn. Headlight mine spill out and there is horn, that one, this small, 10 ampere, what is in just in there. There is horn comment in there, and then I need to only find found that what is this position. And this idea is that that when we are planning to search that right fuse, it is always good to install this our view in that position in here and then we look in that area and then we select we install this our box in here and then we open that and then we check that hey there is those big relays and they are in here and just when two relays and between of those in here we should see 10 ampere fuse and let's go to look that that where we what we have in there and just in that position one two and there is one one small fuse in here this 10 ampere and next I need to take that out and it is really big really little bit tricky and I use that kind of uh, sharp tongs for take good grip like my finger and then I can move that thing and I need to only insert that in directly in that position and then pull out carefully in that way because these are plastic remember do not press total force only carefully and then pull out and then in Toyota way this fuse is in here and that fuse we need to replace and of course before of that we need to check that is this fuse okay or not. An idea is that this metallic part goes into our central and if this metallic part is broken in this central area, we need to replace this fuse. And in that my way, I can see that this fuse is okay. Or actually, actually I think that it is it is it looks like it is broken yes it is right yeah sorry I and when we look there is a small cut in there and then I know that now this my 10 amperes fuse is broken and I need to purchase new fuse and where I can get this just high quality fuses my only recommendation is that you go to visit in the nearest Toyota dealership sales and this Toyota uh, sales center where, 
Pörte sales to Toyota cars and we go to this spare part desk and then those Toyota's persons gives fun new fuse to us. And this fuse cost about one euros or one US dollar per piece. And then when we have new fuse, we only in take that few new fuse in that kind of position. And this back installation is possible also with fingers that only this direction and the key is that finally we need to press that very tight in there. Note, they must be in that plane and this is really important. And that's I take new view that we can see that, that they are really, all of these are in plane and they must be in so deep. It's easy to like compare those old fuses that how they are in there. And then, of course, remember, these fuses are different sides, that there are different numbers, and we must to be always use the same size fuses what is it was in here, and we can of course always check that in that our map that there is 10 ampere fuse in there what I need to use. Okay, and this was this information, and thank you for watching. And final step is to, of course, insert that cover very carefully back. And this is important thing. And first in here, and then back in that position. And final step is to press in that down. And now it's in there. Okay, and now this fuse replace is ready. And thank you for watching that video and have a nice day, of course, to you.